YouTube and everybody. Let's go ahead and dig into it. We know the reasons why you clicked on. Clicked on the old, old button there. Because you saw Nightwolf and you wanted to see him. So let's unbox this guy. All right. I was really excited on getting this guy because I've been waiting for a long time for them to do this. And there's one more character that I hope they do soon. And that's my second favorite character, which is Melina. If they could do Melina soon, that'll just be amazing for me because not only will I get one, I might get two or three. So let's go ahead and do that, Storm Collectibles, Todd McFarlane. All right, so here we got it in the box here, nicely packed, big bad toy store. They always do a phenomenal job on making sure when they pack it, it's in great condition. They make sure that there's no damage. As you can see here, this is great. And they make it look, this is phenomenal here. Well, I got a little sticker there. Hope that doesn't ruin anything. Let's go ahead and peel that sticker off. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right. Good packaging by Big Bad Toy Store. And they also have, okay, some of the things you can get there. You can pause that. Look at that. All right. Let's get this box out the way and let's look at the figure. As you hear the echo in the background, because I'm in the kitchen doing this live video, which I'm okay with. So look at the box here, looking good. Box looks real good. I I, I think it's packed nicely. There's no uh, there's nothing wrong with it. No no brokenness, no bends, no dents. And that's big bad toy store for you. You got to give them credit because they do an amazing job on shipping your figures. I've said this before in the past, and I'm always gonna say good things about them. So let's go ahead and open up this figure. So we're about to open him up. He, like I said, man, he, he looks great. Todd McFarlane, great job. So let's go ahead and get the stickers here. Do I peel them off? I, I don't know, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the old cut. Nice, nice cut. Make sure it's, you know, really good and make sure I don't do any damage to the box. Oh, not 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 doing so well. Okay, let's, okay there. Oh. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got that. Let's go to the other side here. Okay. Ooh. Actually, I might be able to peel this off because it's kind of have a rise on it right there. Let's see if I can just get that peel it off there. That, that is that is on there pretty good. I can't seem to grab it with my ashy hands. Nope. There we go. Got it. All right. There we are. Peeled off pretty good. There it is. Okay, all right. Nicely done. Now we can open up the box and pull them out. All right, go ahead and get a look at the box here. It has a stand, his stand right there, Night Wolf. All right, good, good. Okay, Scorpion in the back. All right, nicely done. We'll set that in the corner here. Now let's go ahead, check out Night Wolf. Looking good in the package. Packaged very nicely. Nothing wrong with it, as I can see. Great. Let's go ahead and pull out his weapons here. If I can grab, I don't want to break it. It's the best way to get these guys out. Let's start with this first. Okay, got tape right here. Mm. All right, there we are. Here is his arrows. I don't know why they're stuck together like that. How does this work? Don't know, but there they are. All right. His bow. Man, his bow looks really good. You got to be careful there so you don't... Ooh. Ooh. There we are. His bow looking, looking good. Looking, looking good there. Okay. All right. Let's go for the axes here. He, he does some work with these axes, doesn't he? I'm going to go ahead and pull it from the base. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's any great way to do it, but this is, wow, this is, I don't know the best way, I'm going to try, I don't want to break it, there we go, pop it out like that, there we go, axe one, okay, not bad, looks pretty good, almost, just like the game, I'm pretty sure, alright, there we go on that, and there he is in the, in the plastic looking good. Let's go ahead and take him out as well. I got him out the plastic and I have to say, when I was getting him out, I was seeing the fine detail on him and man, great. This is, this is good. This is coming from Mortal Kombat 11, as we know. 
And man, we've been waiting for you to make this guy. Thanks, Todd McFarlane. Look at the, the figure here. Looking good, looking good. Let's go for some articulation. Let's start with that head movement. All the way around, down, up. Up is a little limited because of his uh, hair, or he has hair back there, so there's no, there's really no up movement. You're not gonna catch that, okay? Uh, got this movement in the arms here. Yep, gonna be limited on that as well, going up. You're gonna get about that. That's about, about the arm, arm, arm movement there. Downwise is all you're gonna get right here. And you got your bending, you got your hinge for your bend. Not bad, not bad. Got the little swivel in the bicep there. All right. Any crunches? Uh, not really. Uh, not really on the crunch. Kind of, kind of limited too. Let's go for some leg here. Got your bend in the leg. All right. Got your fly. Okay. All right. And you got what we got, guys. Got that tiptoe. Yes, we do. And man, okay. Not bad. Pretty impressed. Limited emotion though. That's okay. Appearance, we know Todd McFarlane does great on appearance. Like I said before in the last video, he could step up his game on his articulation and it would put him in a different category. But above all, man, this thing looks great. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead, end the video now. You've seen the unboxing, and I'm gonna show you a couple pictures at the end here. That way you can look at them looking good with some poses with his weapons. Thanks guys. Don't forget, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, this has been another tour review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.